This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games hosted by three very kind and knowledgeable boys. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Tommy Dasilo, and sitting across from me... Ben Vanell, it's episode 118, and Nintendo is the cardboard queen. And I'm Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> okay, also <laughs> joining us, we have Adam Knox. Cardboard queen's a lot cheaper than leather queen's. I can tell you that much. What's a leather queen? Is that like a leather daddy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. I thought you meant like a queen-sized leather couch. <laughs> What's a leather queen? The most confusing pair of words that I poss- I couldn't figure out given context. <laughs> I couldn't figure out <laughs> at a guess what those would mean. What do you think? It's, so, it's a woman who whips you. A leather oh, queen. Oh, okay. So it is like a leather daddy. Yeah. I thought I was making a joke. I thought a leather queen was like a leather couch. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with the pair <laughs> of you? You're Get out some, there and live a little. Just because you're into some kinky fucking dominatrix shit I'm not and that's it. at the forefront of your mind <laughs> yeah. at all times. I've never done it. I've just read a f- book. It doesn't matter if you have done it. <laughs> I've, I've, I've still gone never out, heard of it. I've lived and I've, and I've learned. <laughs> I, 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 was, I wasn't in the Russian Revolution, but I know it happened... <laughs> when? <laughs> 1915 or 1917, depending on which one you want to talk about. But, okay. the, but there was 1905 was the winter palette. Anyway. It's Rasputin here joining us. Rasputin was dead by the time. But anyway. Oh, you sound like a Russian. <laughs> I am. And let's Russian to get to the start of the episode. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, three men arguing about cardboard. That's what you have to look forward <laughs> yes. to coming up later in this episode. Yes. Uh, but there is other news, of course, for us to discuss. Yeah, there's a, a, a few things that uh, happened considering it's January. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Should we flag that uh, once more we're recording in Tommy's bedroom? Different dynamic to, to the usual setup, I feel. Is it? Yeah. I feel like this is pretty standard. <laughs> Me just reclined right <laughs> back on the old mm-hmm. workbench. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys sort of... Awkwardly. Look, <laughs> awkwardly looking up at me. Yes. <laughs> How is this different from when we usually do it? <laughs> Well, firstly, you call your I've just learned you call your bed the workbench. <laughs> that was a little audio a little audio treat there for the listeners. I was Which, hoping that would go by without comment. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of that. What's a leather queen? The workbench for the most <laughs> And you'll notice I've left a pair of my smalls just sitting here on the bed oh, yes. for you two to just gaze longingly at. What a small oh uh underwear. My right. undergarments. Yeah. yeah right. That's what I sleep in, Adam. <laughs> I was confused because I definitely do not call mine smalls. <laughs> oh, so you couldn't put it together from context? You couldn't figure that out? Out, leather queen. Uh, Where's your precious Russian Revolution now? <laughs> Every, half of things are small. They're either big or small. It could have been one of fifty percent so of the world's things. So you think the breakdown things. of sizes in the world is fifty percent big, fifty percent small? Comparatively, yes. There's got to be, I suppose, one thing that's medium. What's the line? What's big, the what's the what's the one medium thing smalls in the world? Biggie just make your brain explode. <laughs> <laughs> is that the most medium thing in the world? Would I guess be like? A Labrador? <laughs> Something around that sort of... <laughs> okay. That's probably so about in the middle. A Labrador right. is the... Lo- so it's like... It's like the Empire State Building. <laughs> is it yes. bigger than and, a Labrador? And, yeah. and then in the middle of those two... Oh, exactly yeah. in the middle of those two things is a Labrador. Roughly. See, I immediately Roughly. went to like... Well, Small's a Chihuahua and Big's like a Great Dane. Yeah. Not Empire State Building. But empires, but like, there's so few Empire State buildings. Mm. Mm, that's the point. <laughs> that I don't think that it's got to be some kind of weighted scale. Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll get because we'll probably end up talking about. Obviously, immediately after recording last week, Nintendo. Is it Labo or Labo? I think it's Labo. I think it's Labo. I think yeah. it's Labo. Hmm. I'm, I'd s- Labo's here. Did they <laughs> yeah, say Labo? It? Labo, Labo. <laughs> Someone must have said it in the trailer. I. I, I don't remember hearing it, but I think I just I, assumed it was Labo. I swear yeah. I've read that it's Labo because yeah. you would think it would be Labo and I remember thinking, wow, that's like the opposite of how you should say it. Yeah, right. Well, La- I guess... Yeah. I, I've heard... I think I've heard someone say Labo. Because it's like a lab? Like you make stuff in yeah. a lab? Labrador. I guess that kind of... Exactly. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it all... It, the, the, the lab... The Labo controls the means of production... Who cares? <laughs> 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 a lot of, lot of Adam Knox bailing out of his... Yes. Uh, 
yeah, bits I, that are of his own construction. I, I this think episode. it's because I'm in your bedroom. I think mm. it has. I changed told you the it was a different dynamic. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm worried you're going to pick up one of these fucking guitars. <laughs> it is. We, there's five guitars hanging on the wall of my bedroom <laughs> yeah. next above, to my next to my platinum record that I received <laughs> a few years ago above the workbench. Mm-hmm. Um, you got a fireplace. I've never noticed that. I know, but it's like. Yeah, it's it kind it sucks. It's, it's, it's it takes yeah. up room. Yeah, it's, it's too awkward to ever use that. When I first moved in here, my mum came in here and said, "Oh, you're gonna have have any fires going in here? Mm. What an insane question! <laughs> Who would sit and chop up logs? Yeah. and just have a nice little fireplace going mere inches from their bed? Um, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ever so. heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I, someone told me it was illegal to actually use a lot of the fireplaces that are still in houses in Melbourne. Oh. I would assume. That it's they're all boarded up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's. I think there's some other law, again, like carbon emission, something, Mm -hmm. some kind of. These are all too old and fucked. Never use them. Fuck. Now I do want to. If it's against the law, now I really want to use it. Fire party. Get some tires in there and just really smoke (laughs) up a storm. You can do some pretty lame shit here and be breaking. Like I do. (laughs) Have you not seen the collection of amiibos? Yeah. (laughs) If I were to let my cat out at my parents' house, that would be breaking the law. Because there's a bunch of endangered... Well, not even endangered, just, you know, pretty wildlife. Yeah. In your parents' house? Outside of it, luckily. Outside of it, okay. Yeah. Right. If, the, if, it was in the, <laughs> if it was in my parents' house, that cat would be a nightmare for them. So you've told us that information, which up until then we didn't know. So in a mm-hmm. sense, you've effectively let the cat out of the bag. Re oh. your position on letting a cat out of a bag. I can hear sirens. <laughs> <laughs> that, should, that should have been illegal. <laughs> Where there's smoke there. This fire. <laughs> but so that Labo, uh, I, I I don't feel comfortable saying Labo, but I also think that it's Labo. Should we find out? I don't feel comfortable saying Labo because it sounds like you're about to say Labia. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's, yeah. I mean, I, well, let's go, say Labo. Labo. Now. Nintendo. Labo. Yeah. Labo. <laughs> uh, well, do you want to come back around to this? Yes, because that happened immediately after the episode last yeah. week, but there'll be a lot to say about that. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. We've had a full week, and yet we still haven't been able to learn the name of it properly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, in, in, in reverse order of importance. <laughs> ben, so, Adam, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me, Tomo, is shutting down on the 9th of May. Yes. As the only person in the world who cares about that, Tommy, how do you feel? <laughs> cares is a strong word. Cared right. would be more apt. You've um, already separated. You've already mm, given that, up on it. That is weird. It hasn't been around for that. Oh, no, I guess it's like that'll be two years. It's still not that long to keep an app like that around for. Mm. Just you, over two years, right? Is it really two years? I think so. I thought it was like, I guess it must have been. Yeah, because yeah. Mario Run came out at the end of 2016 yeah. and that was the second one. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. We are all going to die real soon. Yeah, yeah. It definitely launched after we were doing this. Yeah. 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 I it's remember trying to look at it and immediately not giving a fuck. Yeah. It, I had a fun, like, couple of weeks on it because you could do, you could put your little character in poses and take photos and you could yeah. import stuff from your camera roll and make that the background. Everyone kind of yeah. used it as, like, a fashion competition, right? Like, yeah. yeah. That was kind of fun for about a week, but then all the stuff of doing all the questions and everything. I like the presentation yeah. of it and everything, but just boring. Yeah, I, I, I just spent an evening kind of going, what's the point of this? <laughs> like, I genuinely yeah. can't figure out what It felt like, like them putting out the first draft of an app. Just yeah. them going, how do you make an app? And just yeah. fucking around with whatever and going, oh, well, we may as well put that out. Totally, yeah. 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 Well, what's it was, <laughs> right? That That is basically what their mission statement with it was. Yeah, I guess so. Right. Like, yeah, it, it was more like, let's make a way to communicate on, on a mobile device that we would use in an app yeah. that has some other function as well, but it was just the communication bit. Yeah. Yeah. Very Nintendo to have an app that's all about communication on a phone mm. and have it be way less limited than any of the other features on your standard phone. Yeah. Yeah. But way more limited. Hmm? More limited, yes, do you mean? sorry, more limited. Yeah, yes. right. So yeah. you mean the opposite of what you said, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm in a snipey mood today. I did not sleep last night, and you know that. <laughs> yeah, you had to, like, attach a whole bunch of stuff to your I body. I had to do a test for sleep apnea, so it's like a machine that you hook up to yourself. Mm. And I was covered in wires and had two big machines 
strapped to my chest. So they give you that and then they go, anyway, just get a just get a usual eight hours like you always do. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <Wow. laughs> Should be an interesting time looking those results for yeah. the old eggheads in there at the sleep disorder <laughs> clinic. It seems like you scream, fuck, this is stupid a lot in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to kind of do one of those things and because I was I can't remember who this was but somebody was telling me about like their dad or something was waking up 200 times a night. Wow. It, that's how apparently if you have like sleep apnea yeah. and I've snored from mm. time to time. So I I've been like <laughs> Only, well, it only happens sometimes. It doesn't right. happen all the time. It's happened every time we've been sharing a, a residence. Well, that's so you mean to say you're not snoring constantly throughout the day. It's only sometimes <laughs> that the snoring happens. A maximum of eight hours <laughs> at <laughs> night. Knox walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it, it happens. It's, it used to happen when I drank. Right, mm. and because it would relax you, and that's what does it is your is right. your jaw goes back or whatever, and you start fucking up. Right, but uh, <laughs> if you like, if you have the proper sleep apnea, you wake up like hundreds of times a night. Yeah, so right. you're not actually ever sleeping. You're like kind of down for ninety seconds. Yeah, Oof. it's it's sort of like I'll remember in the morning waking up maybe three or four times throughout the night, and it's like though if you can remember that many, mm. there's like shit loads more. Yeah, yeah. Right. so yeah. Anyway, look, this is an interesting thread. I can update the listeners when I get the results in. Oh, absolutely. Sleep you report. Yeah. Sleep report. Oh, nice. Not bad. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I didn't really get any sleep last night. And uh, I got to say, I am busting for you guys to get the fuck out of my house so I can go to bed immediately. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got bad enough. news for you because after this, you're going to be losing sleep over the fact that Anthem might be a make or break situation for Bioware. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm sure that's something that's going to keep you up at night. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, so this is like kind of a two-part thing is that Bioware confirmed that they're in the process of making another Dragon Age game, which uh, you like the first one of them, right? Yeah, only the first. There's been three and yeah. they've gotten worse. Uh, I kind of yeah. didn't like the first one and then never played any, the other right. two either. Yeah. Yeah. But they're doing another. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Depending on, it seems like there was some report of internally it kind of yeah. anthem, you, which was is this, this Kotaku's report that you yeah. read. Cause yeah, they, they spoke to a bunch of people working on the game or mm. people who had spoken to people working on the game, all anonymous who were all like, Oh, this this might not be great, and if it's not, we're all out of a job. Wow. Yeah. And Anthem, if anyone doesn't know, I guess, is is their like half Mass Effect, half Destiny kind of yeah. jetpack. Yeah. And it's an Xbox... No, I think it's everything. Think is it really? Everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was, I think, revealed at the Xbox... Right, um, that's where I got that ...presentation, idea. yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. it's uh, It doesn't surprise me with the way that EA's been with like shutting down projects and entire fucking studios and... Yeah. Like, they seem to have a very f- burn it all if it fucks up kind of attitude with yeah, that. Yeah, if it looks like it could lose any money at any point, yeah. then it's it's cut, it's gone, it's right. done. Which sucks. Like they've they've been buying studios in the past what 4 or 5 years and then just shutting them down. Like yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. they are just it seems like they are just desperate to have as much bad PR as possible. Yeah. They can't help themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Which you'd think surely yeah. Even if you're going in the short term, we need to make as much money as we can. Mm. You'll stop making money if no one buys your games ever because of how much they hate you. Surely. Yes. But yes. I, I, guess I they, do think some of that. I, I went to <laughs> say something then and just instead my body went, no, 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 cough into the mic. <laughs> um, I, I do think some of that EA stuff is overblown sometimes. I mean, it's... It, I know that they used to be like always named the most hated company mm. of in the world, like every year. And I don't really think I was fully on board with that. But all the stuff lately, it just seems like they're making bad decision after bad decision. There are a lot of them. I liked Star uh, Battlefront too. So do I. But they also made a lot of bad decisions. Yeah, they got a lot of bad it. press off the back of what they decided to do. Yeah, it's true. But I, th- I like. Even and, and though that, that stuff was dodgy, I don't know how much I uh, agree with the sort of fucking over the top anger that happens. Sure, with a but lot of I mean, they sometimes. make bad decisions in a way where, like, those decisions that they made with Battlefront Two, like, you could easily predict that there would be a big backlash against that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could yeah. easily see coming from a mile away. People are going to hate this and they're going to hate us for doing this. People are going to see right through this transparent like yeah. ploy to make more money. Well, and their MO seems to have been... 
push the envelope as far as it can go or yeah. further than it can go. Yeah. Like, don't uh, just find the line by stepping way the fuck over it. Yes. Yeah. And th- the fact that they fucked up so badly with Mass Effect Andromeda last mm-hmm. year as well, that was kind of shitty. But Titanfall 2, I don't know. EA's just not something that's ever really massively been on my radar for most of their games. Yeah. Yeah. They have I like one a year that's good. The fact that they, and who knows if they did this purely because they wanted to or because the development was going poorly, but cancelling that Star Wars game. Yeah. And yeah, fucking up Mass Effect as a franchise. And then like as much as I liked Battlefront 2 as a game, like just playing the game, mm. you can't disagree that they did some really dodgy stuff with that. And I, I, I'm not like trying to burn down their headquarters. I just think... Well, that wait, what? <laughs> said, How would you even bring that up? I mean, I wasn't like anywhere near them on the 12th of <laughs> January at I mean, about 6 p.m. It's not like I've sent five to seven threatening letters to their CEO. It's I not wouldn't even like know where to get anthrax. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but if I was going to do it, here's exactly how I would do it in explicit <laughs> detail, step by step. Look, I'm OJ <laughs> is my favourite guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I he's like great. I like initials. I like EA and I like OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Two people who keep fucking killing people who didn't deserve it, or games. But, like, uh, it seems, yeah. People that or games. You had to qualify your metaphor. Two equivalent they did, to, they did to Mass Effect what he did to Nicole. Yes, yes. I'll um, say it on this podcast. I think he's guilty. I think oh! he did it. Holy shit. That's what, what got Norm MacDonald fired from don't SNL. You, don't you dare edit this out. <laughs> uh, it, um, yeah, so I don't, I'm, like... It's a shitty thing to have people, even if it's not, like... It's one thing if their plan is kind of, hey, see how this goes and then we'll make a decision. Mm. But if everyone in that studio kind of knows that and feels that axe hanging above their head, that's yeah. super shitty. Yeah. That is not a good Im- a work environment. Yeah. So yeah. what? It, it sounds like this thing is just no good. No, well, it's, it's not that it's, it's no good. It's that everything is riding on it. There's no yeah, indication yeah. of the quality right, of it. Right, 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 right. And yes. not even, uh, it, 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 it's not even about the quality of it when it comes out. It's about how... They wanted to be one of probably this is my assumption mm. one of those very unrealistic expectation type of sales things. You know, remember Rise of the Tomb Raider sold like four million and they were unhappy with that. Yes, because right. yeah, they yeah. overprojected what it would be yep. doing. Right. Yeah. It it sounds like that sort of a situation with this. Right. Yeah. And and because of the kind of conflicting reports, people some people were like. Initially, we thought maybe it was going to be a bad game, but now we're just worried that it's going to be a tif- difficult development process. Mm. Yeah. It looks fucking boring to me, honestly. Like, yeah. It kind of sounds like, you're right, they're going to make this big pr- projection and this th- have these high expectations. Probably not, like, they're never going to be able to reach them. Mm. And then EA is just going to be able to happily go, look at the bottom line, and then just cut Bioware, just get rid of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you're right. I don't think it looks like a very interesting game. Uh, no, yeah. it, it doesn't look like anybody. It, they haven't. It 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 doesn't have an obvious idea that's happened before that game's shown up. It looks like a, sure. just a Frankenstein of all these popular things. Yeah, at the moment. I yeah. mean the way they showed yeah. it off at E3 was very much like, here it is. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. And just watching it, going, this is just looks like a bit. Yeah, like you said, yeah. a bit of everything. You know yeah. these four other games you like. What yeah. if you only had to buy one? <laughs> Yeah. It's one of those old, like, one-stop shop fucking junk stores. Yes. yes. Like, do you want a kettle and some tires and a dog and uh, one, your quick. taxes done? There you Ooh. go. And, uh, and <laughs> a pot plant and a bed and Tommy <laughs> and a computer and a microphone and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. This is it, some shop. It, it looks like the classic, like, Game by committee, like art yes, by committee. Yes. Yeah. Totally watered down, no personality. No no one person's thing where they're like, yeah. this is my this is this world that's been living in my head totally. that I think is really interesting and cool. Like Which just, the, yeah. often the trick of great games is like they're all done by committee. Like mm. they are all all or like a lot of the creative, you know, design like directions and designs and ideas are from a bunch of people. But games like even like Destiny, which isn't a perfect game. No. Did really well and managed to have some kind of strong aesthetic and, and point and did come out at a time where the idea behind it, which was this like co-op, persistent multiplayer mm. experience, was kind of revolutionary. This well, doesn't have any of that. Yeah, I think the goal of any good art is to be able to be so immersed in it that you can't see the strings, right? Sure, be sure. it a movie or whatever it is. <laughs> or that's a, why puppeteering can <laughs> never be a good art. Yeah, but that's, that's why, why Pinocchio ends on a really yeah. strong note. Yeah. That's why Punch and Judy Wee is such a shit game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're little... What are they? They're puppets. They're hand puppets. They're, they're, hand, not, puppets. they're yeah, hand puppets. Yeah, they they got no strings, strings, baby. Still, I... I 
I dare say that would be a shit game either way. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. But yeah, I mean, if you yeah, if you can tell, oh yeah, some some writer thought this is the sassy character. Some someone sure. thought you needed this bit in there. Like it it just falls apart and becomes yeah. uninteresting because you can see all the moving parts. Totally. Yeah. And it does seem like that's kind of been with the, the other ones they've shut down. The only one I can remember off the top of my head is Westwood who did Command and Conquer. Oh yeah. And that series. In in a similar way to sort of the trajectory of what Bioware's done, mm-hmm. kind of kept going. They tried to do an, and it, and it was just weaker and weaker, more diluted, yeah, more trying to ape other things rather than yeah, yeah, doing like a version of their classic games with an, a mechanic just stuck on top, yeah, yeah, or like oh that fucking Dota thing's real big. How about we jam some of that in there? Yeah, yeah. And then when those things do poorly because of poor executive meddling, it seems like they go, mm, you fucks, you 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 wrecked it, yeah. Yeah. Which uh, good good on them. Uh, I love capitalism, <laughs> and I love the way that they enforce those But you've those gone doctrines. from uh, being a Russian revolutionary and then espousing the values of communism. Yeah, don't forget the Labrador thing. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> that was in the mix too. <laughs> I'm working on my mail bit next. A <laughs> hundred flowers, more like a hundred coins uh, to get an extra life in Mario. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> yeah, that was something else. Uh, I saw. I didn't put in here, but um, apparently Destiny Two is struggling a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now. you just said put in here. I know, I no one listening wondering. knows what here is. Yeah. I, I meant this sentence. His, he undid his fly and he pointed and he said, "I didn't put it in here." But uh, so yeah, it yeah. seems like people are kind of jumping off of that type of game anyway. The same with like, mm-hmm. I guess the Division and Ghost Recon Wildlands and all those sort of things are similar games, and people are a little more into them. I think they have lent much more on like the pure co-op stuff mm. the like get a party together and go out and don't worry too much about the single player don't split your kind of development time and resources into all these areas yeah which i think wildland suffered from but yeah. yeah i guess this must be the problem at the moment with games being such a huge money making industry and uh, you know all those stats is that now ev- predict pre- predictions for everything would be so big yeah like projections for everything would just be on yes. this immense, immense, immense scale, like totally. everything has to be GTA Five, or it's a, fa- or it's an absolute failure. Same yep. as the Avengers in movies now, yeah. that sort of stuff. Like yep. everything, because there are these outlier sort of things that do make these enormous amounts yeah. of money. When something that isn't really in any way geared towards that, and everybody other than whatever executive is making it can tell that it's never going to live up to yes. that. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's, yeah, the big thing in cinema is the, the disappearance of the medium or Labrador-sized yeah. films. <laughs> Where the, they have a medium budget and they do fine, they make their money back, but they're not blockbusters. Totally. And they're not indie films that are made for five million bucks. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, when we were in school, they're, you know, a blockbuster, you, you were like if you had one huge movie a year. Yeah. Like the scale of Gladiator stood out because yep. it was the one for that year. And now it's like there's one of them every two months. And, yeah. and nobody gives a shit about most of them. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. get the impression. Anthem seems like the Dracula untold of game, you know? Sure, like just the mummy. <laughs> the Tom Cruise is the mummy. Exactly. Van Helsing. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. it, well, even though they're trying to make one game that has four different games in it, like a Frankenstein <laughs> who yes. would have been in the monster expanded yes. universe. Yeah, the Dark so, Universe. This is so good. Uh, I love it. W- one game containing four different types of games may not be as important in the future because uh-huh. you'll be able to try all four different games if Microsoft adding new releases to their Game Pass thing is good. Yes. Now, yes. this is the previously announced there kind of it's a it's not something that's ever been done in games before. Sort of a Netflix style model. Yeah, mm-hmm. so they've had it going for a little over a year maybe right, or right. maybe about a year. So you pay a fee and you get access to yeah. a monthly fee you get access to this entire back catalog of old Xbox Which games. Which do you download to your console and play yes. or do you, you don't stream them? You don't them, stream them. Which uh, is what PlayStation has. I think it's called PlayStation Go or something like now that. Now or yeah. live or... I, yeah. think na- I think now, yeah. Uh, yeah, you download... It's like you own it, but right. if you stop subscribing to this thing, then you won't be able to play it anymore. Right. right. Uh, it's They've got quite a lot of them there, but it, I haven't ever done it. I have an Xbox, but I had already played all of the games in it that I was really interested in. Right. So, is it currently? It's not a huge library. It's got like a hundred and something games, but a lot of the I remember looking through it at some point quite a while ago and going like, ah, it, you right. know, yeah. But all the ones you want to play, you've played already because you've had an Xbox for quite a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But their plan now is that all of their new first-party releases, which this year is like Sea of Thieves. 
Crackdown 3, Ooh. Forza, I guess, stuff like right. that. And right. there's we'll, one other one. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah. They'll all be available on that thing day of release. Day one. Yeah, right. That's huge. Yeah. Mm. That's Potentially crazy. Potentially it is. Mm. I, like the thing that worries me, it, it, it like, yes, it really could be, mm. but it, they Microsoft doesn't have the software lineup at the moment to yes. software lineup. <laughs> yes. Uh, listen to that industry talk. <laughs> listen to me coming up here giving my keynote. It almost would have been impressive if you hadn't called it out immediately. Nope, things are more impressive <laughs> if you immediately brag. <laughs> I'm Watch doing this, this backflip, <laughs> motherfuckers. I'm Ow, do- somebody called me an ambulance. <laughs> I'm doing this presentation right, on ambulance. PowerPoint. You guys probably don't even oh, know what that is. <laughs> Let me just plug into this PowerPoint right now. <laughs> and then one of those like chalk projectors and, comes and up. And it's a fork that you're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Impressed? Um, yeah, I think this is like already having this Games Pass thing. I think is such a great kind of like industry leading thing for them to do. Like, there's yeah. no way that this doesn't end up being just the standard it, yeah. within a few years. Yeah. So the fact that they're already kind of leading the way with that is great and extremely impressive. And to Throw this wild maneuver in there. On top of that, is it show? I'll tell you what, it shows real chutzpah, <laughs> oh, real <laughs> cojones, <laughs> real balls. Mm. I mean, look, I, gentlemen. I think I speak for all three of us when I say the stones on these guys. <laughs> yes, uh, they they're kind of backed into the sort of corner where they need something like this, and I yes. think it's cool that they are. Aware of that and, and and acting on it. My, I've got one thing that I don't know if this is a completely like I'm just wrong. It's wrong to be concerned about this. The Earth is flat. <laughs> All right, I retract my <laughs> comment. No, it doesn't. It seem like it's going to detract from the money that they can make from these games. Definitely, yeah. Right? I like, would be. I would love to know what their internal because nothing like this happens without a lot of breaking down of the finances and yes. and. Does it, and also does it perhaps devalue the games somewhat that you just, they show up for free on a thing that you already have? You don't need to go buy them. You don't need to invest 70 bucks. It just is on your thing ready to go. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is kind of part of the same thing as their worry about pre owned stuff. Maybe that's something where if one person is going to play this game. Mm. One time, and then they would have sold it on. Oh yeah, that's ten or fifteen bucks they've made, and they. It's not three other people then buying that same game. Sure, so they're sure. making that ten or fifteen bucks yeah. off of three people and getting roughly the same thing. And the other big obvious example is Netflix are doing it with movies, which yes. also costs a lot to a lot to make. Yeah, and I'm paying nine bucks a month for it. Yeah, and I'm seeing new releases like Bright. <laughs> and, but you know, like I'm seeing, you know, yeah, like five hundred well, I mean, movies. Or they've whatever. had their more success with the TV series, I guess. Sure. And when that sure. started, I kind of thought this kind of devalues it because it's just shows up on this thing, all of them at the one time. Sure. You don't have to tune in. You you can just rip through them in a weekend. You can. I think. I think. You, they call it binge watching them. Never heard you of it. Vi- okay, it's like how you'd eat a lot of food at, at one time or drink a lot of beers uh, at one time. Ah, now you're talking my yeah. language. <laughs> yeah, um, baby. But yeah, it, it, it hasn't been the case. Like I sort of thought, yeah. oh, this is going to mean no one gives a fuck about any of the stuff that shows up on mm. here, and it's proven to just absolutely be not the case. Yeah, may I? I would guess that maybe their thinking is something along the lines of if if m- maybe having the new game on there on day one may inspire people to sign up for it because they go, oh, well, I can just get it now for 15 bucks by doing this thing. Sure. And then maybe they stick around for a few months after that and even if they drop off, they've still ended up getting the same amount of money that they would have gotten from a sale of the game sure. new in the store. Yeah. Because those old games being on there is sort of costing them nothing. Yes. Well, and this is and all that stuff. Yeah. The, 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 this is only their first party games that they're doing that with. Yeah. So this year, with what we know exists at this point, that's like five games. Yeah. So and that's so a total of five times, I guess, sixty US. Let's say for the sake of argument, and it's ten US there. Yeah. Yeah. So the chances that someone would have bought all five of that, they're probably not actually losing. If someone signs up for the whole year. There's probably not that big of a difference in what they would have made. Yeah, I think that, that it has to be true. Like otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Well, it's and also for yeah. them right now, the the question of like, will these the, it, who's you know wh- what which purchases are we losing? The answer is seventy five percent of the entire video games market. Sure. Because a- anyway, nobody's got an Xbox. Yeah, not nobody. But it's yeah, and I mean the difference the is lead. when you compare yeah. it to Netflix is that you know Netflix that's 
you know, you hear all this stuff about it, whatever, House of Cards or whatever. Yep. Fuck, you know what? I was about to say Master of None and then I went, don't <laughs> name something with someone who's accused of bad well, stuff in there. Quick, House, House of Cards. Of cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, the Cosby Show's on right, there. Right, um, right. <laughs> right. Um, or what, like, so if you go, oh, I've heard so much great stuff about Orange is the New Black. There you go. Uh, this is the only way I can see it. I guess I've just got to sign up to Netflix. The difference with this is, well, you do have the option of just going and getting the game secondhand instead of signing up to this thing. Sure. In order to get it, sure. So, but I mean, yeah, like I, I think they're to be. You're right. They kind of backed into a corner and have to do something like this. Mm. But they are to be commended for t- taking this. I mean, yeah, it sort of seems like they're the canary down the coal mine where they might take a hit and it might not potentially work out in the way that they think it will. Mm. But th- it's someone's got to do it because it, it's definitely yeah. the way things are going. That's true, it, and that's yeah. I I think that's all they've got really at the moment that. Is market leading like yeah, and it it kind of feels I silly because technic- the more I think about it, the Xbox One X is technically powerful. Okay, yeah, okay. and the way that you could, when you a, a lot of their games are cross by and you can play them on PC and Xbox. That's yeah. also they've got co- like the Xbox is cool. Microsoft are okay. They just the uh, they don't have a lot of games this year. I guess yeah. that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. And when I think about signing up to a games library, I want it to be the the better library. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to wonder if they had five games that were going to be guaranteed absolute blockbusters. Yeah, would they be bothering to do this? Sony Pro- isn't. Perhaps not. You know, yeah. Nintendo fucking isn't. Yeah, because yeah. like their their thing is still the looming like, hey, we're going to start charging you for the online soon, but we haven't gotten our shit together we yet. Ha- yeah, we're yet was, to say anything yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, we said at some point it'll start early, like January 2018. Yeah, it's the 24th, and we're still every we haven't figured out what yeah. fucking. And they just haven't yeah. done it. I just I just think they know that if they do it now, no one's going to do it because. It's, but then how to, proven that it's gonna what be happens good. with their yeah. back catalog on this? Switch, like, is it, hey, give us 10 more fucking dollars for an NES game? No. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not going to do that, Shigeru. Yeah. I mean, they, uh, their eShop current, like, their current library of games for the Switch, there's not there's not a lot of good ones, and mm. they're new. Like, there's a lot of iPad games. Yeah. And then I honestly think there's, like, five or six games, which, look, like, how long has it been out for? Eight months? Six months? Something like uh, that? Nearly a year. The yeah, Switch, right. yeah, a months. year in March. Yeah. Ten, and, the, yeah. So there's there should be more good games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it's it's cool, and yeah, maybe things will start to transition towards this as um, just because everything else is starting to use this model, Spotify and yeah. You Netflix don't want to be everything. the company that doesn't do it. Yeah, if it's yeah. becoming the trend. But who knows if this will? Because ca- I, I I really feel like they've been pushing it quite hard over the last few months with what they had, and I just don't see people talking about it much. Yeah. I've never bothered to use it. Well, this story... They're giving away a lot of those free months. Right. I hadn't... If I'd heard of it, I don't remember hearing about it. This story is is making me hear about it again, at least. Yeah. Mm. And if the games were better, I probably would get an Xbox and do it. Sea of Thieves might be good. Yeah, but it might not. Yeah. I I think Crackdown almost definitely won't, and we can't remember what the third one was. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, but it's it's really cool conceptually, and Microsoft yes. also at the same time is actively apparently hunting for people to make them games that people will care about. Well, yeah. you know, the, I think the big thing that hangs over it is, and it, this is in contrast to what we were saying about EA, is that it's a move that has been done uh, to in service of the people playing the games. It's yeah. like, hey, people would love this. Yeah, this would be attractive. Like, people want to play games. Let's do this nice thing and yeah. give people these games as part of the package when a lot of you know like we're saying with EA a lot of what they do seems to be in direct opposition to yeah. what people definitely want to do when they play so it, yeah. I think it's to be applauded for totally. that oh, it absolutely. is good and, and it, like again like another industry parallel the people in the music industry who got on this early are the ones that succeeded streaming companies yeah, yeah. You know, boomed and you know record companies or you know like uh, retail stores mm. had gone yeah, but the problem is the people that make the albums are now making no money from the albums. Sure. So I, there's not an equivalent of that in games where you can go, ah, oh, we'll just tour. We'll just take <laughs> yeah. we'll just take Super Mario Odyssey on the road and we'll make the money back out there doing it in the clubs. Yeah. And then so if it- people aren't buying the if they're not making the money from the thing, well then the thing just isn't going to exist anymore. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and then do you do more microtransactions after the fact to make your money? That's like- an interesting thing as well. Like if you have a game in this thing and then DLC, DLC comes out for it, what happens then? Uh, it's Yeah, I, it might become like the App Store where everything's free it, when, with a streaming service, but you pay in 10 app. bucks to... Yeah, yeah exactly. Is, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? But it's exciting. But at yeah. the moment, uh, the Xbox is the cheapest way to play video games at the moment. Yeah. Right. If you've got an Xbox and subscribe to this thing, you've got like 100 games for about 250 bucks. Sure. And the, the, the cheapest Xbox One is... the Is that the cheapest console at the yeah. moment as well? Yeah. So if you want to become a gamer right yeah. now... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's and I I like my Xbox. I got it when I got it because it was the cheaper option as well, yeah. and it was perfectly fine. I yeah. just also got a PlayStation Four, and it has a there's, better game. Yeah, library. I mean, there's yeah. enough stuff on there, even in that back library, that is tempting to go in on. That I've kind of considered getting one, but yeah. as we've discussed a lot recently, there's so much to keep up with as it is. The 360 yeah. backwards compatibility stuff is cool as well. Yeah, yeah you and can there's play a lot Red of that redemption in the, in the game. Pass that, I almost have con- like I have considered getting one just to play Red Dead again. Yeah, yeah, but um. I'll wait until the sequel comes out. Yeah. Well, all right. So stop fucking emailing us and saying that we just shit on Microsoft all the time. <laughs> I'm sick of hearing that. Uh, if you want to play Red Dead, or uh, if you want to play another cowboy game one day in the future, mm-hmm. uh, but you don't like the the lack of tactile uh, feedback that you get from a controller. Uh, rumbling around, even in HD, that's not enough. Okay, maybe you want to be a cowboy by putting on a little cardboard cowboy hat, <laughs> a little cardboard whip, cardboard horse, cardboard whip. Yeah, I'm putting on a cardboard whip. Yeah, oh, I'm a leather queen, right? And well, you can hang it off your hip, is how I was imagining. I had it. plan to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, then you can you can uh, ride off into the sunset <laughs> with N- Nintendo Labo. All right, let's let's reach a consensus on how we're going to pronounce it moving forward. Uh, you know let's what? Let's just say Labo. I'm going to look it yeah, up. Yeah, I'm fine with saying while, while we're well, doing this. Now that we've made the decision, I'm going to look it up while you guys talk. But Labo, like I said, Labo sounds like labia. Yeah, but Labo l- sounds like Lebo. Yeah, exactly. S- slang and for Lebanese people. T- and take away the L, and it's still a, it's worse. Uh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I was about to stop you from saying I'm, it. I'm so woke that it took me a few seconds to work out what you were even getting at. Yeah. So uh, I don't like Labo. <laughs> let's well, just call it Nintendo Cardboard Box. Yeah, let's just I would call have it so in- much yeah. more respect for this project if they had just called it that. Yeah. God damn it. It's yeah. all fucking think pieces. <laughs> 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 There's nothing to hear about how to... Labo. Labo. Labo? Labo. As in... L- like Marble. Lab slash laboratory <laughs> US pronunciation. We got, we got from the worst possible option to the wokest. Labo. Well, it's that, moving that, on up. It means yeah. like labo, like how they'd say lab in America. So it's labo. Nintendo labo. Okay. Lab. It's a laboratory. A, a, a cardboard laboratory. I would like to know how many of our listeners predicted that this is what we would be focusing on when we talked about this. Yeah. If you can look us honestly in the eye and say, I knew this is what 15% of this episode would be, then yeah. Yeah, right in. If yeah. it's the, we're going to have to operate on the honour system. Totally. But, hey, happy to hear it. Yeah, we'll what? send you a piece of cardboard as a prize. <laughs> what about Nintendo Lobo? Sort of like a French actor. Yeah. No, Labo. It's Labo. Let's just yeah, say okay. Labo. Uh, for those of you who didn't see this, uh, it's a. Uh, it's how the fuck do you describe? Well, okay, it? so this we put our episode up, and then like that night yeah. they tweeted saying, uh, "Tune in tomorrow morning for a presentation for about some, an experience that we're doing for kids and the young at heart." Yes, and yes. and the internet goes wild, and people start going virtual console. Yeah. Now, how does virtual console fit into? Any of those parameters in any way? Well, look, kid and kid at heart does describe anyone who loves Nintendo. Yes, so one could, could argue video games in general. So it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. People went VR. I don't see how that's. Yeah. Also, keeping in mind that they had done a direct the week before and not mm. mentioned it in that. So why would they like they yeah. go? Oh, whoops! We forgot to put the VR bit in there. Yeah, but the, yeah, but then you could argue. Like, why would it be anything? Sure. Like, like wow, they could that, have talked about... That they, is deep. They could have talked about Labo in the previous Direct. Sure. made it a, a non-mini, but yeah. So what this is, it's two separate sets that is a... I think it's several. There's two at launch. Two at launch. Yes. And I think yeah. the idea is that they'll, they'll be more over time. Because right. there are ones shown off in this trailer that aren't included yeah. in the first pack. Yeah. But um, it's basically a game that comes with... 
a set of craft materials, mm-hmm. mostly cardboard, but some string and rubber bands and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And you assemble basically a little case for the switch well, screen and mm. joy cons to sit in in different kind of configurations. Yeah, yeah. and it depends on which one where like where because for the robot thing the switch is in the dock. Yeah, for example, yeah, for yeah. So the the switch and the and the controller is going different places, but you're making little cardboard three D structures that kind of look like those old like Fisher Price little mm. steering yep. wheels yep. or a little house or there's a little robot that walks around little piano little piano mm. yeah. Uh, they look like they're pretty well designed. Sure. In terms of just like, uh, it kind of looks like handlebars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. But they're they're, they're yeah. kind of clever looking. Like, there's lots of little contraptions and gizmos. People was, immediately it, started going, "Oh, this is going to take ages to set up and build. I'm going to have to build a fucking cardboard box." That's I which think is that's obviously fifty po- percent of the fun of this. I think that's yeah. the point. That's yeah. absolutely the point. Exactly. That's, yeah. I love I love the satisfaction that you get from assembling successfully some IKEA furniture. <laughs> yeah, sure. I almost want to just make these little models and then never use the games that are connected to them. I like, think. Yeah. I mean that. I was very negative on it early in that I don't see how I'll ever use it. And I was very much like, I don't see how it's like worth it for anyone. Mm. Surely it's just, uh, this is overpriced cardboard. Mm. Um, and I, 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 when I think about what I would do with it, <coughs> the building would be the fun part. The building, yeah. Would, yeah. I, I don't see myself then grabbing a cardboard fishing rod and having a little no. little fish every single well, these, day. No. Yeah. So apparently the piano takes like two hours to make or Fuck. something like that. They are really intricate. <laughs> the piano the piano especially and I the, mean it makes sense. The robot and, yeah. pack. And when I was so when I was watching the trailer, it, it sort of starts very simply with someone just kind of like folding up a little box and then putting a Joy Con in that. Mm. And then it as it gets more intricate, like the the fishing rod is like it's like it's retractable and it's got a bit yeah. of rope coming off it and it's got like an actual crank and everything. Yeah. And I sort of thought, oh, this must be – this is like creative license where it's just like, you know, an ad where the product looks nothing like it. Yeah, and then like you get the, to the end, U, it's like No, basically. you actually – exactly, yeah. 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 And then you get to the end and it's like, oh, no, you actually – this is actually what this thing looks like that comes in the box. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool that it wasn't just a kind of a heightened like – Sure. Hey, you know, if you use your imagination, it's like this. Yeah. It actually is – These are actual things that they're yeah. – And so – you, it's like seventy bucks US. Mm. Um, it was, well, didn't we look this up? It's like a hundred and a hundred and twenty. Yeah, it's a hundred and hundred and twenty like for the y- yeah. for the and yeah. So there's it been includes a lot of stuff online of people going a hundred bucks for cardboard. It there, isn't there's cardboard. A, there's a game pack in there. Yeah, like it's yeah. it's trumped up. Well, so this it's, is it's, it's forty was, bucks for cardboard. <laughs> this is why <laughs> yeah. I was going to use the US one because I know the prices on that for the cardboard things. If right. you oh, if right. you were to just buy each of the packs, it's like ten bucks for the variety thing and twenty for the robot. Oh right, okay. So the cardboard right. is still like ten bucks, but that's it's uh, not that's the kind other of fine for cardboard. The <laughs> other option that you have is apparently they'll be putting up the blueprints for them, just yeah. like on a piece of paper, so oh, you that's can cool. cut that out. And if you have your own cardboard, you can cut out based on the stencils, essentially. That yeah, they have. which which makes this much more of a thing for me, from my perspective, of just like. Oh, cool. That's something I'll never engage with. Well, I, th- I think it's yeah. worth pointing out that the way that they've marketed this and what they're going for with it is, like, I th- I think it's cool. I'm probably not going to get it. I, right. I will not get it. <laughs> yeah. Like, That's I think... such a troubling perspective to have because then it's like... Well, because well, it's not for me. Like, yeah. I think the, the whole idea of this is, and I don't even think it's something that they're directly... It's for kids, yeah. but I don't think they're even directly marketing it at kids. I think the idea is... A parent kind of who's got a kid that's not quite yet into games, mm. getting it so that they can have a fun craft afternoon with making this stuff and you can colour it in. And then at the end it's like, check out this cool – now we, Now we're like riding the motorbike. Yeah. Like well, I think that's, that's the whole thing that it's meant to be. That's sure. the key thing there as well is that I think you and I are similar in that neither of us are into craft. Uh – Yeah. Like I like building stuff and I would maybe enjoy that stuff. Like I like Lego. Mm. Which is not craft. It's yeah. like, you know, it's construction. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just not into craft. And, and then maybe it's just the, the fact that even if I looked at it trying to be objective and, and still think it's like, well, isn't that a waste of money? Isn't it going to break? Isn't it like... Yeah. But maybe these that's things, just not relevant. No, I think, yeah, this is like, it's different. I think it's a, it, almost not a video game. Oh, totally. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's clearly they're trying... Well, and on the packaging and everything, it's labelled as toy kit 
Yeah. One, yeah. Like, like yeah. toy cons. Toy cons, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think one thing I think is really cool about it is that if you actually look at the the way that the tech is working in it is really impressive. Yes. yes so the piano, absolutely. you've got your two Joy Cons sitting in either side, and then when you hit a key, it's moving strings. Yep. And the Joy Con can detect how far away, like it can detect distance of things. Yep. So like that sort of stuff is that's really impressive. It's great. Like that's it, really cool. It makes you wonder why they didn't do something <laughs> like better with it almost. But I yeah. guess you. You got to start somewhere. I mean, I think this looks super cool as well. It look, it reminds me of like those old Lego designer Technic yeah, sets yeah, where you yeah. had the little programmable box. Yeah. Because apparently there's something uh, suggesting, and they haven't said this, I don't think, but that you're going to be able to program your own little. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's or, that's kind of right. hinted at in the trailer. Like right. uh, to me, I, I like I said, I kind of view this as a thing for like yeah, a parent to put together with their kid. Um, I think it looks. Yeah, I mean, it, who knows if if it'll translate. I mean, the games, mm. the games, quote unquote, that are featured in this all look really simplistic and superfluous. Like, I yeah. think they're just little kind of dumb experiences. I don't think yeah. there's going to be. I I, th- I don't think they're thinking that any twenty five year olds are going to get this. And absolutely, I mean, m- m- some will as a yeah. bonus, but and just the way that it's been. The, the timing of how they kind of released it as well, mm-hmm. like the fact that it's its own separate thing, they didn't announce it in a Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Like if they if this had been in a big Direct, if this had been at E3, I would hate it because I would read it like, ah, oh, fucking hell, they're putting all their eggs in this fucking cardboard basket. Right. <laughs> yes. But I think they're trying to be very clear about like, Someone's someone in there has just had a weird idea, and they've yeah. gone fuck it. Let's yeah. it's cardboard. It's so low risk. Like, let's just have a crack. Woken up for like the hundred and thirty fourth time in the night and gone <laughs> oh, cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you know what? It, I got a bit of a taste of it last night, having to assemble that sleep machine <laughs> by myself for an hour, and then I got a very boring experience that wasn't challenge. Well, I mean, trying to get to sleep was a bit of a challenge. Yes. But I feel like I kind of had a bit of it last night. Yeah, and you got to turn your bed into a race car, which was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I got to race as far away from a comfortable sleep as I yes. possibly could. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll say, like, um, a few people at work have kind of come past and be like, hey, what do you think about this Nintendo cardboard thing? And, and you I'm, work at Nintendo, it's that's, worth pointing That's right. Out. And yeah. I've, I've You're my them, uncle and you work at Nintendo. It's fucking stupid and <laughs> get away from me. No, but like um, people who are not as, as, as much of a gamer as me but who have kind of seen it in you know on, online or whatever mm. and I've been like, oh, you know, it's this interesting thing where it's this and they've been much more negative on it than me. They've right. just been like... It seems really stupid. That's the, the tone of yeah, the conversation. It's a, it's, a, it's a toy, though. It it's, is a toy, it's yeah. Specifically it's specifically a stupid toy. Like, yeah. It's meant it's to like, be a silly, goofy toy. It is if Sony if Sony did the exact same thing, we'd be going, what the fuck are you doing, Sony? You make well, video games. I think they kind of have. Like, that's you and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> You're Sony. You, you know that... that <laughs> That fucking game they tried to push, that's yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All that sort of stuff, like Buzz back in the day, yeah, yeah, that, uh, Donkey yeah, Konga. Yeah. This is in that line lineage of stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh, where, yeah. where like most of the time people just ignore it and forget about it, but because Nintendo's had this big public massive explosion of like, whoa, what's Nintendo up to? Yeah. yeah. This seems like them taking a misstep, but it's not. It's I just a think that the, the way yeah. they've announced it and everything, I really think it's them trying to be very clear with the message of like, this isn't getting in the way of us making Big good single player games. Sure, this is just us having a go at this little at, at this little toy thing. And Knox for- made an, uh, a funny expression there, and, and that's because they haven't made enough great big single player well, games. Sure, yeah. sure. But the <laughs> fact that they announced it and then that the like they had Zelda and Mario yeah, last year and they were great. And, yeah, and that buys them a lot of goodwill because. Zelda, at least in my opinion, is like one of the best games of all time. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's fair. That's yeah, fair. I mean, like I said, if the, the I just think the way that they announced it outside of a direct, outside of E three or anything like that, they yeah. just kind of overnight just rolled it out. I think that's very clearly them going. This isn't at the expense of anything else that we're doing. They might still have nothing else going on. No. We don't know, <laughs> sure. but I don't think like for me, I would rather them do this weird thing off on the side. And just keep doing other stuff that they're doing mm. than the Wii approach, which was dozens and dozens of everyone can play games that yeah. are sort of shitty and watered down and don't have much going on. Yeah. Like, uh, I agree, and I think that this is fine. And yeah, it, it, like you say, it's totally separate from Nintendo being what people want, you know, classic yeah. Nintendo to be. Mm. But 
the thing that makes me concerned isn't anything to I think it looks fun I think it's a really cool idea one two switch fucking sucked yeah and sure. Nintendo Land wasn't great before that. I thought all the all I thought the, Nintendo Land was really good. All the things that they've sort of done in this stable of things, yeah, I don't think have been great for a while. Yeah, I wasn't right. ever really into Wii Sports. I thought that was really fucking shallow and like uh, gimmicky. Um, but that was the thing. You can't say that wasn't a success because that no, alone not, I, sold the way. Totally. I'm yeah. only talking about in terms of what I will perceive the quality yeah. of it to be. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I yeah I I yeah. It's gonna be. It's going to be really interesting. Like I think, like if I had a kid, I'd think this was a cool thing. But maybe it comes out and no one gives a fuck because I, I do sort of think like, okay, you have this fun few hours making the cardboard stuff, and then you, you know, there's a little game that you can play at the end of it. Cool, but are you going to revisit it right. that often? Right. And do you maybe need to revisit enough, it though? I mean, yeah. Lego is like you have the fun of building it, and then it just sits there, and it's like, cool. This is a model of a thing that doesn't really look like the real thing. Hey, Meso. Hey, guys. Oh, Meso. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I pick up. Do you want your bag? Yeah, I'll come get you. So does it then just sit on a shelf unused? And is that an unreasonable amount to pay for something that you get the fun of setting up with yeah. a few hours and then never go back to? And to play devil's advocate, if they're going to introduce um, user-built games, user-generated content, then... Maybe it doesn't matter. You just go down to you know Office Works and get a sheet of cardboard for mm. fifty cents, and you play this new game that's been uploaded, and it's all part of the experience. <laughs> there'll be so many dildo games. <laughs> 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 if people are allowed to make their own things, there'll be so many just like fucking bullshit piano cat things. Oh for yeah, the piano. And yeah, yeah I hadn't thing. even yeah. thought of that idea that you can program stuff into it. If yeah. that if that is the case, that yeah. would be fucking. Or if you if they made fucking Little Big Planet with cardboard, yeah. I think that would be super fucking cool. Yeah. I think what would be cool, and I've kind of thought this for ages about the Switch, that it's so, because of the way it all disconnects, it so does lend itself to Mm. having peripherals attached to it in these weird ways. And I was kind of wondering if we'd ever see that. And I guess this to me almost kind of seems like it's a bit of a way of testing the waters of like, well, if, if they brought something like this out and it was all plastic peripherals, it would cost $400. Right. So with the cardboard thing, they maybe just get to see... What people like, and if people end up loving the motorbike thing, yeah. well, then maybe they go, "Cool, well, we'll bring out a little plastic motorbike attachment for Mario Kart." Yeah, that would be awful. Yeah. That's where I would t- like yeah. cardboard right. for ten minutes of like, "Oh, that's cool. I built that." Yeah, is cool, but like, if it was, "Hey, play through Metro with this cardboard gun on your arm," <laughs> right? I, yeah. would, or, I would feel like a or fuckwit. The, the other side of it, where yeah, like you got a table tennis like bat attachment for the Wii, which became disposable in about six months. Yeah. yeah. At least this way it starts off disposable. Yeah, exactly. It's better uh, yeah. for the for the dolphins. Sure. Yeah. You fucking them dolphins with that controller. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the shape of water. Ooh. Uh, it's it's also it's out pretty soon. Like they there's right. not a heap of lead time between announce and mm. and bringing it out, which is in- interesting, I yeah. think. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, anyway, I, I, it, yeah, it might be a massive flop. I do, I love that thing where they kind of, where they, heaps of companies do this, where they go set one and set two. It's like you are really gearing up for a long lifespan, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. It's like I love the idea that in two years, it's like, are we ever going to get three and four, or <laughs> did you sort of decide that that wasn't really worthwhile? Again, the, uh, Dracula Untold, <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But uh, I think it. Looks fun, and it's and I think they under they seem to understand how goofy of an idea it is, and it's how a neat idea, just yeah. temporary. And, and like fun of a thing it should my be. my thing is like I I completely agree that it's like a really really interesting and innovative idea, but I always like jump straight to the like yeah, but like in the concrete you know way, mm. how is it going to work? How is it not going to work? Mm. And do I care? And I I think maybe I just don't care. Yeah, and, yeah that's fine because you know what? Like I feel that. Similar-ish things to this have come out a bunch of times over the last sort of couple of decades. Sure, yeah. in, in like dance mats and whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Similar the Wii, Wii fitness and stuff. But it's it, but it's not generally Nintendo, Nintendo making them or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's it's some third-party thing where you're like, yeah, I guess you can make your fucking weird drawing board. Yeah, and you know this is fine. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Everybody should bloody and go buy one. Yeah. Mm. Everybody. Not, not for me, but looks. Yeah, but no, buy but one anyway. Like no. Because you've got to buy every video game because <laughs> I mean, you I'm play not, them. I'm not. I'm not going to buy one. I won't 
resort to re- resort to? That's been the strike because there have been a number of things I've seen of people going like, "Oh, I can't believe I'm being forced to buy this thing for kids." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like motherfucker, how many Barbies do you want? You're not being art forced <laughs> to buy it. Yeah, I've boycotted all cardboard from my life. <laughs> so I will not. I I went to get a. Coffee, I was like, you got to put it in a plastic cup. Yeah. Tell you what, it's the first game where the bloody box they ship it in is part of the game. <laughs> but that's what's so, like, that is... No like, reaction to that. <laughs> such the common trope of, like, oh, you buy your kids or your dog a toy and they're more interested in the box. Yeah. It's like, yeah. do you reckon someone just saying that in the office was <laughs> the germ of this idea? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> like, I would love to know the what conversation in the office sparked this off. Yeah. Because it is, whether it's good or mad or not, uh, good or bad or not, it is <laughs> cool. a... Fucking insane idea. And as we all know, that's how all ideas come about. Somebody says something they think is unrelated, then they go, what did you just say? <laughs> say that again. And they turn around to a whiteboard and start <laughs> scribbling on it. You'll never be a game designer. Your ideas are about as fun as a cardboard box. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, say that again? <laughs> Someone give me a napkin and a piece of pen. <laughs> give me a bullet and a, a, a single bullet and a gun. <laughs> a bullet and a single gun. <laughs> Open to whatever number of bullets, yeah. but it has to just be one, one gun. <laughs> single gun. Uh, I think it looks fun, and I'm interested to try it. Like, I think we're all going to try it for the purposes of this. Yeah. And yeah. I wouldn't have if it weren't for this. Yeah. So, yeah. Not for yeah, us, I, but that's okay. I'm very contradictory. I, I want to try it, but I don't want to get it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to have it. I want to, yeah. yeah. Great I thing is you don't have to feel bad about throwing it away afterwards. The cardboard, at least. Well, not if, yeah. you, if you put it in the wrong bin. Yes. Are they going to sell this digitally? Like, can you buy this on the on the eShop and then just make your own cardboard And stuff? then just get the... Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, mate. I maybe. thought you meant buy cardboard digitally and I was going to have to break it to you. That that's <laughs> physically impossible. Uh, 3D printing? <laughs> mm, 2D. Oh, what about that? Yes. Somebody's going to make like 3D printed versions of each of these cardboard things. Yes. And sell them like, do you want the plastic fishing rod? You can buy it off of eBay for 10 bucks. But that defeats the fun of putting it together. Oh Fuck man, yeah. I'm going to Thailand in June. I really hope there's knockoff cardboard over there. <laughs> there <by> will be. <laughs> yes. People made so much of that shit for the Wii. There were yeah. so many yeah. little plastic dumb things for yeah. every yeah. single it'll be, game. It'll be Nintendo card, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, what's up? I'm Card Brad. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> Mate, Adam, did you ever make? Paper? I could be a motorbike or a fishing rod. I'd be whatever you want. Did you ever make recycled paper when you're at school? Make recycled. Oh paper. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like it's so dense like it's like so t- thick and it's you can't write on it because it's all jagged and yeah. fucked yeah. yeah like you pulped it and made it all yourself yeah what do you yeah. make it with you, never was that. it newspaper it's like or yeah something? that's that's the thing i could never get on board with i'm like we're yeah. just we've already got paper we're just <laughs> yeah. throwing paper into some fucking clag and going yeah. look what we made yeah exactly. we made wine once at my school did you oh. yeah did you st- Summer in France? Is that? No, we just had a viticulture course at my school. And wow. I went, I'll try that. And then went, ah, oh, this sucks. <laughs> Video, viticulture sucks, but video games. Well, we've got a, a few people who've written to us about video games oh. as well. Um, you want to hear that? No. Well, that's good because Gmail is not a fantastic <laughs> app. Wow. I got my wish. <laughs> Tried to buy some time with that sweet question about <laughs> yeah. whether he wanted to read it. Yeah. Uh, I got a couple of emails here. This first one is from Kate. Uh, she wrote in a long email, blah, blah, blah. You guys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, about inner space. This is another one. Of, you mentioned before the number of fucking shovelware, shovelware iPad things. games on yeah. the Switch. Yeah, this is one of them, and she wrote a pretty good review. I thought of it, uh, and I thought I'd just read it out mm. so that we don't have to do the legwork with inner space. Sure. So do it. this is uh, Kate, the fifth Beetle. Uh, writing it about inner space. I bought inner space the other day, and I'm so mad at it that I wanted to write and show you my appreciation for all your hard work by warning you off it. Uh, it's an exploration game set in an inverted world. Gravity pushes out, so it's like being in a fishbowl. And it's supposed to be a meditative, relaxing experience. Dot, dot, dot. It's not. Oh. The what flight. Her? <laughs> she had me. She, she had me there. Yeah. She had me going. Very good story. Uh, the flight controls are terrible, especially in tight spaces. Hitting off a wall in a tunnel results in a downward spiral of smashing noises, glitching walls, and a complete loss of control over the craft. My shoulders are tense and sore from wrestling with the controls. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. I am not relaxed. Fuck. Whoa. She's got me again. Yeah, I'm not relaxed either. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. These I'm ellipses. Think next time I see these three dots, I'm gonna my ears are going to prick up. Okay. <laughs> I won't be fooled right. like this again. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, there's one more coming up Fuck. later on. 
Uh, there is very little direction, and uh, the washed-out pastel colors mean almost everything blends together, making it difficult to see what you need to do or where you need to go. The inverted worlds appear big at first, but are far too small and empty to support much aimless wandering, so it's easy to get frustrated by the lack of progress. What little story there is, I didn't find compelling enough to push me through the gameplay issues, so after a solid two days play, Oof. Tommy, that's how it's done, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> also, flying in a fishbowl world was giving me vertigo. I went in thinking yeah. it might be a switchy No Man's Sky. The cover art is very reminiscent of it but it's useless well i thought Whoa. so anyway thanks again for a great podcast thanks again <laughs> very good she spelled that wrong <laughs> uh thanks again for a great podcast guys and go easy on the irish dot 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 close brackets what she opened brackets with and go easy on the irish oh okay uh, kate from dublin wait so there was nothing after the dot 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 there was a close brackets hmm well, she it's really like, go easy on the Irish. She switched up the format there. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought that was a well, well written. That gave me a real yeah. sense of. Thank you, not Kate, to play for that. warning us off a game that none of us was in danger of ever playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I would, might have been in slight danger, but yeah. Especially no. over this last month when not much stuff has been coming mm. out, that Switch eShop has been looking more and more like maybe I'll try this <laughs> random fucking thing. Oh, we yeah. should say, as of, yeah. as of pr- well, pretty much this week. It's on, isn't it? Oh, Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, the drought the, the dam the dam is busted. Yes. Mm. The drought it's, is it's, broken. It's a public holiday in Australia tomorrow, for better or worse. And there's Let's say worse? Yeah. yeah. Worse. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, we, we're not the ABC We can just make a call <laughs> yeah. We don't have to sit on the fence here No, I need to be fair and balanced <laughs> I'm light-skinned and standing on top of a pole <laughs> uh, <laughs> Harvey Danger himself <laughs> <laughs> um, Monster Hunter World and Dragon Ball Fighters Will probably be out by the time a lot of you are listening to this mm-hmm. uh, We'll be talking about them next week But yeah, and then So they come out tomorrow here but nothing's open, right? D- well, no. some s- yeah. I, I remember I looked it up, JB Hi-Fi is open Oh, they it- have in fact done it again <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Stood in direct <laughs> defiance of Australia Day Yeah I'm, I'm going to, I, I'm going on a bloody holiday with my fucking girlfriend though So I'm wow. not going to get Where to play going? them I'm not going to... I thought about saying it, but then I'm like, what if somebody shows up? <laughs> In the town. <laughs> well, no, because we're going to one specific place. We're only going away for a couple of days and right. like, there's one specific place where we're, where I'm mainly looking forward to going. Hmm. Let's just say it's a house... <laughs> In which is a lot of parliamenting gets done. <laughs> what a cool holiday we're going to Parliament House. Oh, you're going to the circus. I was looking forward to doing one of those bloody it's goodbye girlfriend, you know, holding up the video game yeah. post, but instead it's goodbye video games. Mm. Hello. Real life, brother. This yeah. CIA ho- black spot we're going to yeah. that I'm not allowed to mention. Mm-hmm. But that will actually be fun. But yeah, we'll talk about them. Yeah. Uh, will you tell me and Ben... Uh, off mic after we record what, Where are you going? You're the people I'm concerned about <laughs> Oh okay Fair enough Well why don't we cover our ears And you just tell the listeners direct yeah, So then we yeah, won't yeah. find out Let's do that <laughs> And when I edit the episode I, I'll block my ears then as well <laughs> Okay alright um, I'm going to Ben and Tommy go fuck yourselves so, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so secretive with everything. I, I know. think it's probably some sort That's of a question I've trauma. Got as well. <laughs> anyway, if uh, only you could open up and reveal the reason why you were so secretive. This next email we need to wrap up soon, but uh, this last email here comes in from Lewis. Uh, he's got two questions here. We'll get around to them. Uh, the first one, I think we can pretty quickly answer. What would be your uh, solution to the microtransaction crisis? Stop get- doing them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Ben. <laughs> I think more of them until we all get to learn to love it. More cardboard. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. And the other question, I thought this was interesting. Thank you very much for your email, by the way, Lewis. Uh, we read the whole thing. Yes. Uh, do you think there are any crossover games that could work better than the failed attempts on the, of the past, like Mortal Kombat versus DC? Basically, mm. who would you like to see mashed yeah, up together? Yeah, but I love his question. Is there anything that could work better than this thing that failed? <laughs> I dare say, quite possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Nintendo Labo <laughs> <laughs> has a better chance. The crossover yeah. of cardboard and bad video game, <laughs> more than likely. Even oh, just man. calling it a bad video game seems like an affront to video games. Like <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, it's the bad use of a video game. Yeah, like it's yeah, it's bad use of a screen and a console. Yes. Well, Mario, Mario <laughs> and Rabbids is one that bucks the trend like that. Yeah. yeah, and and even like it's not like two great properties combined in that. It's one great property and Rabbids. and Mario. Yeah. <laughs> You should have been quick enough because I stepped on your joke. I couldn't be bothered. By finishing my sentence. Uh, uh, yeah, that that did actually work weirdly mm. well. I would really like to see one that, like, 
one day in the future, everybody, in the sort of way that like Marvel and Fox does. I guess it's when one has to get monolithic and massive enough. Yeah, that, sure. Because it's Disney. But to have like, you know, Master Chief punching Crash Bandicoot in a Smash Brothers between everybody type of way. Yeah, One right. sort of cross everybody, uh, you know, bout. Yeah, right. Real NWO shit. I would really like to see like... Uh, when Mario Odyssey was being teased and they were showing off stuff of New Donk City, I really thought, oh, Donkey Kong is going to be in this. Yeah. Mm. That'll be cool. Yeah. Like, I thought that was going to factor in a bit more and it did. Like, I would like to see a bit more. I know they have Smash and they have Mario Kart, but actual kind of. But for Donkey Kong to come back to Mario. Exactly. Like, for a lot right. of those others to end up in Mario Kart, too. Hmm? A lot of, like, Kirby and whatever to be in Mario yes. Kart. Make oh, Mario yeah. Kart the same as Smash Brothers where, like, who cares who's in this? Yeah, yeah, and have yeah, courses right. themed on it. Yeah, I've, I've seen that said a bit that it's like they should almost just not call it Mario Kart anymore and it just be, like, Nintendo Kart or whatever and have Labo Kart themed on it. <laughs> yes. And it's you make a Billy Kart yourself out of cardboard <laughs> and then you push it down a hill and the switch is docked at home yep. and just on the screen is text saying you are a fuckhead <laughs> <laughs> the HD rumble really feels like you're scraping your knee on the <laughs> yes. tarmac Ooh. yes Ooh. I have a scar on my hand from a billy cart stack that I took Fuck. when I was a young boy that's cool billy cart stack <laughs> it's my rap Well, I, no it'll no, be a country, country name, name. What <laughs> hey what's up I'm Billy Cart Stack the worst rapper in the world <laughs> hey, he'd, he'd probably be in Kid Rock's gang <laughs> yeah that's true Kid Rock is technically a rapper I, I mean think- you guys keep thinking of games that already have like rosters of characters the, I remember back in the day really liking the idea of Mass Effect and Star Wars crossing over mm. I, f- I feel like that was floated at some point obviously because Bioware made Right. Like to the Old Republic and, right. and Mass Effect. Whenever, whenever I hear that sort of stuff, though, it's always the goofiest way of it happening. Like somebody accidentally warp jumping somewhere, and then like, right. who the fuck is this guy? And it's Luke Skywalker. And he's like, who are you? Which is exactly uh, what's happening in the comics right now. Right. Watchmen and DC are crossing over in Doomsday Clock, and it's awful. Right. It's Thor and the Guardians of the Galaxy in that trailer for the other thing as right. well. Just right. like, who are you guys? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's any kind of like supernatural themed stuff where they feel like they have to have ten minutes of the characters not getting it because <laughs> yeah. that's how real people would act. It's like cut to the yeah, chase. That's why we're here. Totally. Yeah. Don't bother. Like, make it so that they've all like have just do it ten minutes later and have it happen off screen. In- <laughs> yeah. in- Inspect a gadget chasing down Hannibal Lecter <laughs> and never not address bad. that they're like very different tonally. Go go gadget yeah. father beans. Yeah, just have <laughs> <laughs> have them have them act the way they would. Yeah, if yeah. they if they were like yeah, I'm I, in the, the I, Hannibal world. I think the 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 very far fetched and unrealistic idea I had was that Mass Effect was in Star Wars land because it's like well they're just both big space space. The, the yes. problem with that though is that if they met Star because Star Wars happened a long time ago, yeah, and Mass Effect is in our future, but a long but, time ago from when mm. the films coming out mm, uh, it doesn't say that does it. <laughs> It doesn't provide explicit context. It, it, <laughs> a I long, long time ago, from when I wrote this contract, sir, <laughs> I never specified that I meant in the past from today. Like, I feel like I'm in a real life Reddit thread. This is intense. <laughs> <laughs> Fierce debate. Uh. Incel. Well, I guess we should wrap it up, hey? Yeah, I've got to. I need to leave. Oh, okay. Sure. No need to let the listeners know that. Mm. Uh, I've got things going on, everybody. (laughs) Got to go on holiday with my girlfriend. Oh, that's right. He actually just shit himself, so he has to go change. Uh, Okay, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks Mm. for listening once again. Uh, As always, please uh, let us know your thoughts on anything gaming related. Even if we don't read them out on the show or or immediately reply, we do read everything that comes through. Yep. Uh, Filthycasuals.com.au is where you can find links to all our social our Patreon if you would like to mm. support us each month. We've got a new bonus episode coming out very soon. Yes. Well, we'll have to record it very soon and send it out. Indeed. Um, we also have comedy festival shows on sale. Uh, Chimp Cop, which is Ben and Adam's sketch group. Yep. Adam doing solo stand-up and me doing solo stand-up. Um, yes, that I'm is I'm going to be in Adelaide in New Zealand in March as well. Oh, yeah. Mm. At so, the same yeah. time? Uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> wow. I've learned to vibrate incredibly quickly, <laughs> like the Flash. I can go between two different. I think we've. Uh, there's been a couple of uh, members of the Filth say that they are in New Zealand and they'll mm. be be trying to see you. Yeah, the we're Fulth. in Wellington specifically. Right. Yes, the Filth. <laughs> <laughs> Fully. Not bad. Ugh. Oh, t-shirts as well. We have some new t-shirt yeah. designs up on if, our red bubble. If you if you like the logo, it's on mm. t-shirts and other 
merchandise. Mm. So there's yeah. a there's a phone case where <laughs> yes. the cam the hole for the camera just cuts out my eyes and makes <laughs> me look like a cyclops. Um, I saw that they they let you do sheets and we should do a watermelon something. Indeed. Yeah. Yes, we should. <laughs> For like, me. <laughs> we can do sheets, so we should do a watermelon something. something. <laughs> Not even necessarily a sheet, just yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, thanks, guys. Thanks so much for listening. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals... Nintendo Labo, I barely know, ho. <laughs> 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 and you can't take that again. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. It's not optional. You have to do it. <laughs> We used to go easy on it, but now you have to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.